I'm back everyone. Now let's get the show on the road. This is our first area of the game. First actual area. And here we're going to be facing pretty much the majority of the really annoying ass enemies in the beginning of the game. including tons of bats the staple of the Castlevania series actually they're pretty much a staple of any platforming game I mean how many platform games do you see nowadays that don't have some kind of a bat in them awesome I just picked up the first armor piece thank you The video doesn't seem to be running too bad now that I'm using a different screen recording thing. But something tells me the actual playback is going to tell a different story. Also, that was the first action card I just picked up. Now that I have both an action card and an attribute card, I could perform a first DS combo. Or DSS combo. By hitting the L trigger, or the A key in my case, we can activate the flame whip pretty nice little weapon but I'm not going to be using it too much and here's our first save point awesome beans that save point obviously is used to save your game but it's also a good way to restore your hit points and your magic points if you're ever in a pinch it also cures you of any status ailments that you can't already cure on your own Also, if you're really tempted to, you can stand underneath these poison worm bunches and farm antidotes and magic gauntlets. The antidotes would be pretty useful for a later area that's just plumb full of poison enemies. And that'll get really annoying. Unless you have a, a certain DSS combo that protects you from poison. And this is our first sub weapon. The crappy dagger. It only uses one heart per use, but it's really not worth it. We'll find better ones later. I don't know what I just picked up, but I don't really care. Level up. Actually, let's equip that. Makes our DSS attacks a little better. And here we have our first mini boss. Which I think I'll actually use this for. This guy's pretty easy. Unless you get caught off guard by that rock slide thing that he does. Which can actually come from behind you sometimes. And also if you're close, if you're far enough from him, he'll like fly around and that can get pretty tricky to dodge. But generally he's a pretty easy enemy. He also carries our second attribute card, but I'll probably farm that off screen. Over here we have our first magic item, which isn't really that magical. All it does is let you run by double tapping forward. It also lets you jump farther. Pretty much crucial for the rest of the game. Unless you want to do this all day. Which I probably shouldn't do that, or I'll get stuck on doing it. Oh, that's not good. My attack button gets stuck sometimes on this keyboard. Damn it. Hang on a sec. Okay, that's all I got. Actually, I wonder. There's a card in here too, but I don't think I can get to it. No, I can't get to it. Let's go save it real quick. Actually, you know what? I totally lost track of when I started recording this, so I have no idea how long it's been going. Uh, you know what? I think I'll head to the next save point before I put a stop to this one. You asshole. I really hate those freaking bomb skeletons. Antidote.
Yeah, I don't really feel like putting up with this loser any longer than I have to. Actually, I know this is doing a lot less damage than the normal whip, but I don't really care. Got to get some use out of it. That's not what I wanted, but it'll do. If you're really into level grinding, up here's a pretty decent spot to start out with. All of these bats respawn, and they can get you a decent amount of experience for killing all five of them. There's also some on the other side, so... If I remember right, they're worth two experience a pop, so that's a whopping, I guess, ten experience each. Sometimes they also drop a heart item for you, which you can use on the go to recover ten hearts rather than whipping a bunch of candles. I'm probably not going to bother with that, though. see what do I do here yeah let's stick with defense oh awesome I need that those potions are gonna come in handy wait a minute did that skeleton just throw a bone at me it did those are all regular skeletons in this game I totally forgot about that I take back what I said about the whole them making regular enemies upgraded. I guess you do find normal enemies in this game. After you encounter the crap ones. And actually, I think I will equip that. It's a lot better than the cloth armor I would have picked up beforehand. So that's a nice jump. And we got another one of these fuckers. That little item increases your maximum heart capacity, which is useful for people who like to spam the sub weapons. I probably won't use them that much, except on certain bosses, though. And that's where I came from. And yes, I'm probably going to be pausing so I could pause the recording and then pick it up right after. In an attempt to resynchronize my sound, because I don't really trust this recording software. And I find those MP max increases a lot more useful in this game than any of the other Castlevania games. Just because the DSS card system is going to be put to use a lot in the later levels, not in this one. I don't have anything near useful for this part. Also, I do know that, uh, Another person had already LP'd this. I believe their name was Chibisama. And I gotta admit, they're pretty good with their LP. A lot more interesting than I'm making it so far, at least. And no, I'm not making this video to compete with them. This is just a, my own effort on the project. Just so I can get into this LP scene. I'll try and work on something a little more unique later. Okay, we made it. I think I'll stop it here because I don't know when I started recording this and I don't want to go over that stupid 10 minute limit. That and I don't want to push this thing's limit on the recording software. So I'll open a little bit. Gonna go ahead and see if this turned out okay and I'll see you guys in a bit. Escalon out.